You're watching Wish TV, News 8 and 11 with Phil Sanchez. Welcome back. DEI programs are designed to address discrimination and create a culture of respect. We go and filter tonight with Chuck Zumbrun, who has firsthand experience on what these programs can do. Chuck, good to see you. You, you wrote about this experience at your granddaughter's school. Take our audience through that. Well, we went out to see my uh, son and daughter-in-law and our granddaughter, Alice, who's three. And while we were there, my daughter-in-law asked us to speak at their school's diversity day. Um, they get family or friends in to share something about their lives and their customs. So the, uh, the, the kids get exposed to different points of view and different ways of living. So um, I'm a, a family farmer and I thought, you know, young kids in San Francisco probably didn't have a lot of experience with a Midwest farm, so I loaded up a bunch of pictures of our farm to show to the kids, and uh, that was my program. So, so what was your biggest takeaway from that experience, Chuck? It was what then, and yeah, inspired me to write write about it. Um, was that experience of being very different? Um, Alice attends a, a Chinese language immersion school. Yeah. So. All the instruction is in Mandarin. All the teachers speak Mandarin. Um, that's the only language spoken there. So when I show up there to do my little talk, uh, everything's in a language I don't understand. And it was, uh, you know, an interesting experience for me, having lived here in Northeast Indiana all my life, where everybody essentially looks like me, talks like me, acts like me, to be the one who was totally different. Um, and that was um, that was an unusual experience for me. Kind of eye opening, huh? So, so why do you yeah. why do you believe these kinds of programs should be embraced, Chuck? Well, after I after I did that program, you know, I, I had the experience of being the other, the one who was different. But what was really struck me about it was, even so, I was just wrapped in this warm blanket of privilege. Um, I just assumed, or I didn't even assume, I didn't even think about it that if I Ask the question in English, I would get an answer that I would be treated with respect. And as I thought about that, you know, I've seen that's not the case for you know people here in Northeast Indiana. You know, we have a large Hispanic community, and a, you know, a person who walks in and doesn't speak English English well doesn't get treated with that same sort of respect in the marketplace or at local government. Uh, so that. That was that was a real eye opener. Yeah, I can imagine. I don't have to tell you, Chuck, but DEI programs have become a hot button issue in politics these days. So, what do you think people should know, and, and maybe folks who who differ or have a different opinion uh, from you on this? Um, my feeling about it is, if people are opposed to it, I wonder why. And I, I often think, well, they they somehow see equality um, as a as a pie. And if somebody else gets a, uh, you know, treated equally, that means somehow, you know, that's less equalness for me, uh, and then that's really not the case. Um, right. Yeah. In in your opinion, what do you recommend for folks out there, and how can maybe they get involved in DEI programs? Uh, really, just in in everyday life, just being aware of it and taking that moment. Um, you know, if you see somebody struggling with language or somebody who acts differently you, than you, just to take a moment and think about how would you want to be treated in that situation. Um, and, I, and then I think these kind of DEI programs can, can help you to make you more aware of that. So if you have a chance to participate in it, kind of that eye-opening experience to, to realize, you know, it is necessary to, uh, to make a community. You know, Chuck, that's something that we tell our kids, and I think maybe us as adults need to start listening to and doing as well. Uh, Chuck, great conversation, great article. Thank you so much for sharing uh, your story with us, and we appreciate you coming on. Well, thank you for having me.